No, I think you're inspiring me. I can't tell you. I probably do six calls a day on trying to explain to people Airbnb. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I just, and, and then, you know, nothing happens. So I'm, I, I'm, we might do that. So <laughs> what, what is a, you know, I, this is mainly a personal question for me because um, I'm kind of a butterfly. I, I, I keep a lot of things in my head, but I have great business partners. I'm, you know, I'm leading the way. They do most of the integrating stuff like that. What is a typical, like your KPIs, like Steven gets up, you know, what, what makes you feel great if, if you had to describe like how you knock it out for the day and how you put your day together for you to feel like when you're, when you're, when you're locked in for the day or laying down that you feel like you, you've accomplished what you need to. And it doesn't happen every day, obviously, but. Yeah, that's a good question. So what I've got is something that I call my forever four. And it's the four habits that I'm committed to doing forever because they're extremely valuable and they're frankly pretty basic. So it goes from being four individual things uh, to being just one thing that I've got to do. And so in that forever four, it's the four M. So it's every day I'm listening to some mindset. I'm listening to something that's going to empower me and start my day off in the right place. I'm focused on moving for 10 minutes every single day. I'm focused on doing meditation for at least 10 minutes every day. And then I finish that morning routine with mapping my day, which is a combination of journaling, uh, some gratitudes, three specific things that are small things that I write down that I can appreciate and that I can be grateful for and that I feel fully within myself. And then I write down some fears and some things that I'm excited about and some reminders to myself about how I'm gonna show up during that day. And then the mapping part of mapping is actually putting together my action plan for the day. So every week on Sunday or on Friday, I'm planning out everything that I'm going to accomplish to hit my ultimate goals, to hit my top three goals that I have that I'm focused on a regular basis. But then every morning, I'm reviewing what I set the day before. I'm looking at my calendar. I'm making sure that every single thing that I must do today is scheduled into my calendar. And I'm essentially mapping out my day and making sure that I know exactly how I get from where I'm at to where I want to go. And so when I do the forever four, I end up feeling much, much more satisfied with my day because at the very end of the day, I spend a little bit of time reflecting and asking myself, well, how did I do? What did I learn? Where can I grow tomorrow? And then this cycle continues to build. And when I don't work from a map, when I don't work from an action plan, I end up failing because I'll just be flailing around, reading emails, checking Asana, checking Slack, waiting for people to reply to me so that I can then take action on something they said versus being intentional and moving the ball forward the way that I want to versus reacting to what everyone else is hoping that I'll do. No, a thousand percent.